got them. You know, one of the things you got to really be careful with with crappies when you're trolling is the hook set. You can look at the rod I'm using. This is this is actually a panfish rod. I'm not I'm not trying to cheat here and use a medium light walleye rod. I'm I'm using a panfish rod. And the reason I'm doing that is because you can see on that hook set, I am not. Whoa, we got lucky there. He ended up in the boat. <laughs> we uh we got pretty lucky there because he fell in the right spot, but it just goes to show you how paper thin these fish's lips are. You can actually look, that's where the hook was on that crappie right there, and that just tore out that easy. And that's why I'm using the rod I'm using. Let me throw this fish in the live well, and then I wanna show you this. This is actually a panfish rod, and what I use is a rod that's got a tip that, I mean, there, there is virtually no pressure there. I could not catch a lot of other species with this rod without him pulling me all over the lake. This rod is dynamite for crappies or bluegills though, because when I go to set that hook, I don't want to snap it. If I snap it, I'm probably going to tear it right out of their lips. What I want to do is what I did on that fish, and that simply find the fish, stay with them, let them bend it over a little bit, and because that tip's so light, it doesn't bother him that he's got it bent over, and then I just pull forward. That's how you're going to get the majority of those fish hooked. Then the other thing is you always want to keep that fish coming straight at you when you're reeling them in. And here's why, you saw when I hoisted that fish in, he fell right off, okay? He was hooked just fine, but the fact is his lips is so paper thin that he was able to just shake a couple times and get that hook out of there. Now, if I let that fish get turned and go sideways one way or another, he's gonna have a chance to get away because once he gets turned, that's when he can get a little bit of slack. And if he gets that slack, that's when he can shake his head and that hook will pop out. So I wanna use a soft tip rod because I wanna reel very aggressively and keep that fish coming toward me the whole way. If you follow those tips, you'll catch a lot more fish. You'll not only get them hooked up, but you'll get them in the boat. And if you get lucky like I did, when you hoist them in, they'll land on the floor.